giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. We're going to start out with the Roebling division. Uh, Nick, take it away. Let us know what's going on in Roebling. All right. Thanks, Tyler. Um, so Roebling is very interesting. Um, there are only a few big names that immediately catch everyone's eyes. Um, so it really could be anyone's division. But to start, there are a couple of locks for sure. Um, so obviously you have 148. Um, so they're coming in with three banners under their belt from Amar from the Amarillo District, Dallas District, and Texas State Champs. Um, you know, they're they're insane. Um, I really think that uh, they could make a really good third robot, um, having shown their killer defensive ability in the finals in Austin. Um, I know everyone else at the top is hoping that they'll fall to the backside. Um, they also bring some other minor things, like uh, you know they can solo some rockets, they have multi-hatch autons, they can cycle really fast, and they also have a double climb. Um, I, I think the defense takes it for them, though. Um, but if they are able to rank, which they will, um, they'll be looking for a partner that they can fork. That way they can get the double climb um, because those points are pretty much what won them Texas State Championship. Um, another lock is 359, the Hawaiian kids. Um, they also have three blue banners this season. Um, they can consistently get the level three. Um, so they've ranked in the top two at all four events that they went to this year. Um, Time will tell if their hat fast hatch cycles will be enough for them to get yeah, picked up can. by a top yeah, alliance we... captain or captain their own alliance. Um, and the final lock for Roebling is 5190, the Green Hope Falcons from North Carolina. These guys are the real deal. Two hatch cargo ship and rocket autons? Check. A consistent level three climb? Check. Speedy cycles thanks to an effective pass through arm? Check. Everything that a robot needs to get out of its division? check if they end up with one of the other two locks they'll make it to einstein and they'll be top contenders there so we have some hopefuls as well um, another north carolina team 1533 triple strange um, they're another north carolina cycler uh, they have a flip through arm somewhat similar to uh, 5190 um, maybe they'll be able to reunite with their north carolina district champ partners um, and if they are, they could be very successful given they know how to work together and they have very good synergy together. Um, then out of Southern California, there's team 3647, the Millennium Falcons, who are part of hashtag team sideways elevator gang. Um, they have three blue banners under the belt, having won Del Mar Regional, San Diego, and Idaho Regionals. Um, which is really cool for them because coming into the season, they had never won any awards and now they're a they built a top tier robot and they really broke out of the gate hard with their three banners and multiple word wins. Um, yeah. I, I want to interject that just how amazing that is and what an accomplishment it is to go from essentially winning nothing to winning three blue banners in a year. That is, uh, you know, real props to 3647 for being able to pull that off. And they've, uh, I, I know, I don't know for you guys, I know I was watching them at Chessy Champs last year thinking they were a lot better than they'd been during the season, and clearly it's it's spun off into this year. Yeah, they've definitely kicked it into high gear, um, coming in from the off season where they were really good, and then you know they really just took it to the next level this season. Um, their sideways elevator, they have a turret on their um, elevator, which except it's sideways. It's really mm -hmm. cool, uh, really really well designed, manufactured, and very well driven. Um, and they also revealed this week that they have a couple of two hatch autons that they're bringing to the game. Um, and then we have, an, so another hopeful is team 3847 Spectrum. Um, decent, there are a couple Texas teams in this event, er, in this division, um, but they're up there with 148. Um, they have really fast cycles. Um, they're very consistent in the sandstorm. Now the biggest thing for them is they've been chasing a level three climb all season long. And if they can pull it out here, they'll, That'll move them to the next level, and it can definitely it'll definitely help them get out of their division this year. Um, on the dark horse side of things, there's Team 294 Beach City Robotics. Um, they've uh, they've won creativity at all three of their events this year, which is really cool. Um, they'll be looking to rank higher than third or fourth, which has been the theme of their season. Is you know rank third or four, and then pull out a creativity award. Um, 
you know, if their cycles stay fast and their suction cup climber keeps working, then 294 should be able to break through that third or fourth spot. Um, a couple others in this division is uh, Team 231 High Voltage um, from Texas, uh, Team 1410 The Kraken from Colorado, 2655 The Flying Platypi from North Carolina, 4005 uh, Hostile Gato, who uh, won Oklahoma with Team 1619, um, 4610 um, from the Texas District, and 5842 also from the Texas District. Um, do you guys have any ads to uh, the Roebling division? I actually want to add about 2655. Um, they're a great team, and I've been following them throughout all the season. And even though um, they were eliminated in quarterfinals, I think they're going to do a great job on Roebling division and on whatever alliance they get. I, I think they have a, a, a robot that cannot reach the third level of a rocket, but that won't stop them from being fast and doing those cargo and hatches. Yeah, I think that you've got a, uh, a good list of teams there, Nick. Um, it's going to be a, a very competitive division. I don't know that it's quite as deep as some of the other divisions that we might be talking about here later today, but there's going to be some great teams playing here and hopefully some very competitive play. Yeah, uh, I can definitely agree with that one. So yeah. any any predictions out of this division? Uh, you know what, Nick, as, as you look into uh, – yeah, I think 148 is kind of a clear favorite, right? Is there anybody that can upset mm -hmm. 148, or is there anybody else that you think has a, a, just a, a phenomenal shot to just maybe completely dominate the division, or, or is 148 all the way? Um, you know, I think 5190 is the potential to um, potentially overtake 148. Me, personally, I think the winning alliance is going to be 148 and 5190 with the third bot, because um, 5190 is just that good. Um but potentially on the upset side, um, 3647, uh, I could see them coming in. Um, they've been climbing really good. They could potentially upset the rankings a little bit. Um, and if 3847 Spectrum comes in with their climber that they've been trying to get, um, I could see those two joining up together and potentially beating a 148-5190 alliance. Yeah, it's interesting to see in, in regards to, you know, are, are we going to see anybody else? 359 is such an interesting team this year because, uh, you know, they have, uh, what, two blue banners, I think, for, for wins, uh, both at Hawaii and uh, Canadian Pacific, which, uh, you know, I think arguably are kind of uh, weaker regionals uh, out there for things. And they're a team to me that uh, I think the robot's a lot better than what it was last year. I think last year they, they kind of missed their mark and their stride. It, it seems strange because it almost seems like there's less talk about them this year, yet they're doing uh, better. Uh, but I think part of it might be the regionals that they attended. So I'll be really interested to see 359 uh, if there's any potential. Uh, another team I, I think you hit the mark on was just, just another team, uh, 1410, uh, as we call them. Uh, I think they're a robot that, you know, they, they have a, a lot of really good looks in. That's the Kraken uh, out of Colorado. Uh, they won the Colorado Regional uh, and I think look really good. You know, yes, they were with 1619, who's one of the best teams in the world. But I think uh, I think they could have stood alone and I think they could have given 1619 a run for their money as well. So uh, some cool stuff coming out of Roebling. Yeah, um, the jump a little bit back at, for with 359, they won Canadian Pacific, Hawaii and Canadian Rockies this year. So they had three wins. Um, oh, yeah. What's really interesting is I believe Canadian Rockies was the later event um, where their robot showed up, I believe, 20 minutes before opening ceremonies. Yeah, and they played um, match one, yeah. Yep, and they made it through and was still able to win that competition. So there is something to be said about, you know, just having issues going up to not even having your robot at the event to 20 minutes before it starts having it show up and then you still take the banner and the rank one. It's There's something to be said about that. Yeah, props to them. That's really hard to do to pull your robot out of the crate and throw it right on the field. You know, that that's that's really impressive in the fact that they were able to, um, you know, still seat as high as they did and win as many matches as they did under that much pressure is is real props to that team. We need your help to keep fun at loud, live and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.